Hey guys, Alex Hudgens here and today we're going to be checking out the Boss GT1000 Core. Now stick around because I've got a performance piece that I've written especially for this pedal which shows you a variety of sounds but just before then I thought I'd give you a quick overview as to what it is. Now some of you may be familiar with the GT1000, the flagship multi-effects processor. Now that's an amazing floor unit and essentially they've managed to pack all the power into this small and portable stomp box. So that basically means you've got all your amp modeling in there, you've got every single effect you could probably think of, it, amazing stereo delays, reverbs, all the modulations, chorus, vibrato, phaser, flanger, all the good stuff. And you can actually have 24 simultaneous effects blocks in series or parallel. From a quality point of view, it's built like a tank as you can always expect with Boss, but sound-wise it's 32-bit ADDA and 96kHz sampling rate. You can also load in your impulse responses, you've got 16 slots available. There's an extremely fast carryover feature, so if you've got long delay tails and stuff and you change patch, they will keep going and that's really cool too. Onboard looper and loads of other fun stuff. Now as I mentioned it works as a standalone unit but also it sits really well in your pedalboard setup. For example if you don't want to use the amp modeling you can just use all the effects. You can even do amp switching so this has a control out that can change the channel of your amplifier for example. There's also two send and returns which mean you can add another two of your favorite pedals and switch them in and out directly from the GT Core. It also means you can use some more complicated setups like four cable method. That's what I used on my pedal board here. The big tour that I did last year, I used the four cable method setup, allowing me to switch my valve amplifiers right from the pedal board, bring the effects in front of the amp in the effects loop, which allowed me to get lots and lots of variations of tone. The onboard USB allows you to not only edit all the patches with the software, but you can also use the librarian to back up and create live sets. So let's say you have a few different bands you play with. You simply plug in the USB, load up your set, go to the gig and all your sounds are there. It's also multi-channel, which means you can use it to do things like reamping. So let's say you plugged it into your laptop and you use your DAW you can actually reamp the guitar, meaning you can record it, have it play back, and then change the tone and re-record the tone to make sure it's absolutely 100% perfect and as you like. The TRS MIDI in and out will allow you to send out MIDI messages and receive them too. Of course, you can plug an external expression pedal and an external foot switch as well giving you more expressive controls like volume swells as a wah-wah, pretty much anything you can imagine. So without further ado, let's have a listen. The following performance is in its standalone mode where it's using all the amp models and it's plugged directly into the computer and I hope you enjoy it.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.